Are you looking for the next craft beer to try? Well, Jessica's favorite realignment from Outside Ales is the one for you. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. Jessica's favorite beer. At the moment we've all been waiting for. Outside Ales, untapped. We did go there the other week, and I do have a video that will be coming out. Tell them why we went. To get realignment. For? Your birthday. Outside Ales. The second year in a row that somebody mm -hmm. has done wonderful mm -hmm. things for with beer for my birthday. But this is the best raspberry beer I have ever had. And I have been aching for them to can it because we could only have it at the pub for, what, two years now? Right. And they finally canned it, and here I am. And at uh, beer festivals, craft beer festivals. 5.5% um, ABV, 22 IBUs. We have had this before, obviously. Uh, canned on date because Oddside does put the date on the can now. 82818. And we bought this 9 1. Did we go up before? Yeah, it wasn't on my birthday. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was Labor Day weekend. No head. What head we do have is white. If you look at the color, oh, this is, doesn't say it on here, raspberry wheat ale. Mm -hmm. uh, color is. Perfect. Raspberry. raspberry in color. It is clear. I can see through it. A couple bubbles coming up. Smell. I feel like I'm being biased here, but I think this smells perfect. There's just the right amount of raspberry. It smells a little tart. Yeah. I will have something to say about I this would, after I drink it. I will say, like, it smells raspberry tart with a little bit of, like, sugar. Like, little sweetness mm -hmm. in the back of it. I don't pick up biscuit or wheat. You're like, not supposed to. It's supposed to taste like raspberry. Right, but it's a wheat ale. That's all right. Okay. Taste. I will say, I love this beer. I have, obviously, all you guys have listened to me forever talking about it. But I think it tastes more tart in the can than it does out of the tap. Having it on draft, it's a tamer taste. Mm -hmm. I think it is way more tart in the can. And I think that I don't like the taste of it in the can as much as I am today. Yeah. Same here. To me, it's <laughs> like a tart, tinny kind of thing. Why you have to go ruin my beer review with that? Because it... To me, it's like a tart, but then it goes tinny, then raspberry. Okay. And I don't know if it's because of the raspberries or the amount of raspberries they use, then they put it into tin cans. Now, aluminum? I, or aluminum. Um, obviously, you don't get that with a lot of other beers, but I can say because I have had it at Oddside Ales, this, it tastes tinny. Like a metallic, okay. like a tart, metallic, tinny kind of beer. Taste. Beer. Craft beer. That did not make any sense. I don't think it tastes like a metal at all, but I just think it tastes more tart out of the can. Maybe they did it on purpose. But it doesn't say tart. You know, that's the thing is like when I, we bought the four pack because they sold them on four packs. Buy the four pack, and then here I am minding my business, laying by my pool, drinking them. I'm like, these taste different. Weird. I wouldn't say weird. They taste different. They're just a different, it tastes more tart. Like, way more tart. But, um, you know, maybe it's because I have it at the pub, and it sits out for a minute. You know, we're talking, and we're tasting other things. Cause we so it warms fun. up. So it warms up, and maybe it's not as tart, and I drink it, obviously, Grab it out of the fridge, pop it open, drink it, and it so it's more there's more of a tart flavor there. I don't have as much of a tinny taste now. 
in my mouth, but it's still kind of there. I think for this canned version, I would go 3.75 out of 5. Oh, see? No. You're done talking now. Uh, this is your review, not mine. It wasn't, because you did the intro and you've I, been talking. I and said here we you could are. redo it. I like it. I still think it's a great beer. I'm still going to go 5 out of 5. There isn't, I don't think that there's a metallic taste. I am not getting a metallic taste. I'm okay. getting just more of a tart flavor out of the can than I do out of the draft. But I don't think it ruins it at all. It just makes it more tart. And if you don't like tart, that's fine. Um, you have to buy this at the pub right now, still. This, this is September, still. We're doing this September. Um, it's, I think it's well worth it. If you like raspberry beer and you're ever in the Grand Haven Holland area and you ever go to Oddside, this is one to pick up. I think it's good. This is my, what, number three out of my four? Because you said I had one down here? Yeah, you have one down there. Okay, so I have one left to last me until I go to Oddside again, which will probably be next spring. Because <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that we'll go. <clears throat> no, but I'm saying this is the last right. one I'll have until. Um. But I think that Oddside Ales did a wonderful job with it. Like, everyone, you know, if you've been watching us for a while, you would know that all I do is compare all these raspberry beers to the best beer I've ever had, and it's this. And it is. I stand by it. I still stand by it in a can. I would like to have it in bottles. Yeah. Because I think beer I tastes think... different in bottles well, and in yeah. cans. Well, we're supposed to do that review. What? Um... The party source did a pairing, comparing. Okay, we'll a, talk about this later. Yeah. This is my beer review. Anyway, so it's perfect in every way. I think that if you have the opportunity to try this, that you should. And um, I wonder if Kyle would like this. Maybe Kyle. Maybe you need one of these. Yeah. I don't. I don't believe you should judge this beer out of the can. That is correct. Go to the pub and try it first, because yeah. I think that, yes. I don't know why you keep talking. You keep interjecting. So, four of my friends have had this average 4.19. That's because Jessica's one of those friends and she rates it five I'm every guessing. single time. Yeah. A little over a thousand people have had this average 3.63. Go down low and see if Jessica's on there. James. <gasps> What did he say? Gave it a 4.5. Add a guy. He knows. What did he say about it? Um, I think that was at the um, the Winter Beer Festival. Sample of Allison's, of course. Yum, yum, yum. Jessica Allison. Jessica Allison. <laughs> <laughs> so there's probably like three of hers that mostly Michigan Beer Reviews did one. So the average is Yes, that. it's... But that um, would be up past... Hey, you know what? Everybody's going to have their favorite beer, and it's not going to be everybody else's favorite beer. But it's mine, so, and that's why yes. we're here. We're here talking exactly. about this because it's about me, and it's my beer. Yep. And I love it, and I'm so glad that I was able to finally share with your people yep. my beer. Yep. But yeah, if you can stop by Outside Ales, have it at the tap, even if it's in your flight. Yeah. Don't even, if you're not into Matt raspberries. Had it. Yeah, I don't know. We have to be into raspberries to try it. Yeah. I would say that, just going a step further, that um, if you tried any of the fruit sickles, the raspberry fruit sickles, and you liked it, this is yeah, where I stemmed from like the love of the raspberry flavor from Oddside. So um, if you like the raspberry, blueberry raspberry, any of the raspberry flavored right. fruit sickles, you're going to like this. Yeah. It's going to be a little tad tartar than you like, but. Still a good one. Five forever. Sure. Brad's like, oh my gosh, can we be done here? You're <laughs> gloating. But I finished my beer, so we gotta go. Yep. So that'll wrap up this beer review. Until next time, I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. Happy brewing. If you like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and thumbs up and check out some of our other videos.